If you think about it, preservation is a tremendous economic driver. In the years since the federal tax credits were passed in the late 70s and the state credits were added on in 1998, Wilmington has seen $39 million of investment in the restoration of historic buildings. Now those dollars, according to conservative economic models, roll over three to five times. Historic preservation rehabilitation is very locally oriented because you're hiring local contractors and local craftspeople. And those people are being employed, they're generating uh, the purchases of goods, those goods are then being uh, used in the community, then those people who are employed go out and take their salary and turn it over in the community for rent and groceries and taking their family out to dinner. So that $39 million has rolled over three to five times in this community over the last 30 years. And at the same time, we've seen hundreds of buildings rehabilitated, and those buildings serve as models and jumpstart other things, other buildings that aren't even using the tax credit. So we've seen literally probably thousands of buildings rehabilitated. That old church, which was St. Andrew's Presbyterian for many, many years, that building actually collapsed into the street following a terrific summer storm in 1999. And the foundation said that that building had a future and needed to be part of the fabric of our community. We rushed in, we bought the building, we collaborated with the city who put monies into the building and it was stabilized and generally restored. And then we placed a preservation easement on that building to protect it and it was conveyed to a private owner. Now unfortunately it didn't see new life immediately, but that stabilization gave it time and that's what you have to do with old buildings. We gave it time. It ultimately uh, sells and gets into the hands of Dave Nathans, and Dave does the Brooklyn Arts Center complex. That building now has a useful life. It's on the tax rolls. It is a vibrant center for weddings, for gatherings of all kinds, from antiques and collectible shows to our vintage event, to concerts of every type, and um, it's bringing hundreds and thousands of people into that Brooklyn Arts District now, and all up and down North 4th Street. And we had our offices there for a number of years when it was pretty, pretty quiet. And now you're seeing apartments, you're seeing adaptive reuse of old buildings, you're seeing new construction, compatible infill. That whole place is coming back to life and that's a good illustration of what historic preservation, collaboration with the city, the appropriate zoning, and private investment can do for a historic district. We appear before all the elected officials throughout this region, New Hanover, Wilmington, Brunswick and Pender County to educate and advocate for legislation that we see as beneficial, for regulations that we see as beneficial. We do workshops, we do countless workshops on historic districts, on the use of the state and federal tax credits. We collaborate with others. Recently, 2011, we collaborated with uh, WDI Wilmington downtown to pass a new preservation ordinance for this city. We're constantly out there protecting and preserving the irreplaceable resources because once they're gone, they're gone forever. There's no replacing them. The other things that the foundation does is our house tour, which is a part of the Azalea Festival every spring. And then we started something new this past summer, which will now return this spring and summer into the fall, which is a guided architectural tour of two of our wonderful historic neighborhoods. The streetcar neighborhoods around Market and 17th to 20th Streets, those are neighborhoods that are established in the early 20th century, dependent on the streetcar. And then Wilmington's first automobile-oriented neighborhood, which is Forest Hills. So we're touring those two neighborhoods on foot and we're educating about the value of those neighborhoods and how they've helped uh, define our city. Mm -hmm.